the drama, the climax, the emotion. I don't like saying this, particularly with regard to games at the Emirates, but we have just witnessed a delectable medley of footballing splendour at the Emirates. An exceptional win for Arsenal, a statement victory for Arsenal, a statement year for Arsenal. And I tell you this for nothing. Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola, Manchester City fans, Liverpool fans will be terrified of what is going on at Arsenal. And if they're not, they're misplaced. Their confidence is misplaced because this Arsenal team are capable of anything. This Arsenal team are clearly capable of winning the league. They are behaving like champions. They are putting in performances like champions. These results are the results of champions. They are resilient. They are hard. They are silky. They are skillful. They have everything that you need to be crowned champions. Now, look, I'm not saying that they are going to be champions because there are so many twists and turns. There's a Rizzler paper between the three teams that are capable of winning the league and anyone is capable of actually achieving the ultimate goal. But this Arsenal team are there. They are behaving like champions. And remember, it is totally possible to behave like champions, to have a season like champions, but not ultimately be crowned champions. Last season, Arsenal behaved like champions for the vast majority of the season. Liverpool finished 97 points one year and did not win the league. And Arsenal, this year, think about what they have done. Think about the noise that they have made. Think about the message that they have sent to every single doubter in the world. Since the turn of the year, since those two very undignified defeats to West Ham United and Fulham in consecutive London derbies, Arsenal have never looked back. And everybody... You and I, the big rivals of Arsenal, have to doff our cap to Mikel Arteta. Having that resilience, the way that he has set his team up, the way that his team have answered that blow. Everything that we say about Arsenal, we often, often attack them for being weak. They're feeble. They have an underbelly. They're vulnerable. They aren't about this life. They don't have the fight. They don't have the hunger. They don't have the determination. They have proved to us time and time again this season that they do. Eight straight wins in the Premier League is a huge, huge, remarkable feat. And Mikel Arteta's team currently sit top of the league. We are what? We are the... We are the 9th of March. We are now in the business end of the season. We're in the final chapter of this season. And Arsenal are top of the league. It was essential that they went top of the league today because tomorrow... Their rivals will drop points. That is a fact. Somebody, if not both, will drop points. So Arsenal had a fairly generous fixture at home. They were playing Brentford at home, a fixture that they would have made themselves favourites for. They needed to make sure that they won. And the form that they are in, they should have made light work of this. Now, it did not go their way. But listen to this. Today is one of the most impressive results for Arsenal Football Club. Now, let me explain. I know what you're thinking here. What are you on about, Raw? We've seen them score six already this season. What are you on about, Raw? We've seen them score five. What are you on about, Raw? We've seen them beat Liverpool. What are you on about, Raw? They're scoring goals galore. Four goals, five goals, six goals, twice. Yeah, I know. But today is the one. Partly because of the pressure that was put on them. Because of the fixture tomorrow. But also, and more significantly, because it wasn't going their way. That is when you learn what a team is about. That is when you find out if a team is resilient. If a team is capable of winning the league. It's when things aren't going their way. Not when things are going their way. And today, it really wasn't going their way. It looked like they were on the cusp of dropping points. They had the game so up. They were playing really well. It was all going their way. Declan Rice scores. Ben White, magnificent. Again, get that geezer in the England team, by the way. At centre-half while we're at it. Get Harry Maguire out. Ben White. This is how good Ben White has been this season. Arsenal's player of the year this side of the year. I got Gabriel for the full season, but since the turn of the year, Ben White. Since Ben White got back from Dubai, absolutely unplayable. Absolute geezer. And this is how good I think he is. I think he should be starting for England out of position. He is impossible to leave out. Two assists today, totally at the epicentre of everything good that Arsenal do in every aspect. When Arsenal were defending set pieces, Ben White. When Arsenal were uh, attacking set pieces, Ben White. When Arsenal were on the attack on the ball, Ben White. When Arsenal were defending and don't have the ball, Ben White. Ben White is the answer to virtually every question that is posed by the opposition. He is integral to everything that is posed by Mikel Arteta. And the player that he has become under the tutelage of Mikel Arteta is amazing. You know, I thought he was a good player when he was at Leeds. Like, I thought, you know, Bielsa did well with him. But he is absolutely exceptional. And the fact that he is playing so well, 
was linked to their brilliance today. You know, two assists for their fullback. And today he was so incisive and so linked to that mentality that I'm talking about, that resilience. Because look, you know, in Arsenal, not necessarily the Liverpool game, you know, when they scored four the other day, four, five, even six, you know, what did we really learn about them? What did we really learn? We learned that they're a brilliant football team, but we knew that already. We learned that they're capable of scoring goals, loads of goals. Yep, we knew that already. We learned that they were contenders for the league. Yep, yep, we, we knew that already, didn't we? We learned that they are gladiators. We learned that today. Like, when things are going well, we know. We know Arsenal are good. We know Arsenal can score goals galore. We know that Arsenal like to stroke the ball about. We know that Arsenal can score some beautiful goals. So when they win six at Sheffield United, it's great. Points are very important. Goal difference is very important. It's relevant. But you don't learn anything about them. Today, what did we, what did we learn? We, today, we learned that they're fighters. Today, we learned that they are warriors. Today, we, we learned that they are gladiators. They have a gladiatorial approach. It's not the Emirates. It is an amphitheatre. And they are going out there. They are Russell Crowe. And they are out there. They are fighting. They will fight to the death. They will go for the jugular. They will never give up. They will never say die. And today, there hasn't been a victory like it. Maybe the Liverpool game. But that was a long time ago now. You know, lots happened since then. There was no result that has happened where they have been so desperate. Nothing has been so hard fought. And arguably, nothing has been so important. When you are champions, ultimately, you will look back on days like this. When Chelsea were crowned champions, back under Jose Mourinho, it was Ewood Park, Arjun Robben, off the back of Aaron Mokowena breaking his ankle. That's when we won the league. Today could be that day for Arsenal because it wasn't going their way. Aaron Ramsdale's had a mare. It's gone massively wrong for them at halftime. They must have gone in at halftime and couldn't believe that they were drawing. But they demonstrated the resilience and they are doing it when they've got Liverpool and Manchester City meeting tomorrow. So not only does that win take them top of the league, but it is a decisive victory. And I think that we will look back on this weekend, everything that happens this weekend, as being a huge, a huge indicator as to where the destination of the title ends up in a couple of months' time. So Arsenal had to win. And now, obviously, we have to speak about Kai Havertz, don't we? Look, on my members section on this channel, I've already uploaded a video about Kai Havertz. I didn't think that it would become this big issue. So the video about Kai Havertz is up for the members. I've done it. But I will be... <laughs> on that video, what I've done is I've, I've just put up an emotional rant effectively. On this one, what I will try and do is demonstrate an element of professionalism. I've been a little bit off the cuff on that one. I've been a little bit irrational because that's for the members. But for this one, I think I will try and add a little bit of professionalism. The Geezer has scored in four consecutive Premier League games. I didn't think he was capable of doing that. He's obviously never done that before. I've never, ever seen him score. Can't really think of him scoring in consecutive games, let alone scoring in four consecutive games. And they are big goals. What he is doing and what he has done for Arsenal this season is already huge. Scored against Burnley. Scored against Newcastle. Scored against Sheffield United. Scored against Brentford. And the Brentford one is huge because it is a winner. Like Kai Havertz, as a player, he isn't scoring the fourth in a fifth nil, in a five nil win. He isn't scoring the fourth in a six nil win. He is scoring decisive goals. Think about what he did at Brentford all that time ago when he almost announced himself to the Arsenal fans, scoring that last-minute header at the GTEC. And now he's done it again. It really is sensational, the form that he's on. And if I'm totally honest with you, Kai Havertz is massively starting to get on my wick because he is playing so well. It's starting to annoy me because he is now demonstrating form that I didn't think he was capable of. He is scoring big goals. And he's responsible for some massive moments in Arsenal season already. In fact, these words that I'm about to say are really, really painful to me. If Arsenal do win the league, Kai Havertz will be a huge part of the reason that Arsenal lift that trophy aloft. If Arsenal end their two-decade drought of the Premier League title, a huge reason will be Kai Havertz. So, I'm baffled, to be totally honest, that he has managed to do this. But, Ivan Tony going to the Emirates under normal circumstances, would have been seen 
as a little bit of an audition, wouldn't it? Ivan Tony going to the Emirates, his new home potentially in in uh, kind of in the in the foreshadow of Arsenal making a big money bid for him in the summer. This would be Ivan Tony's chance to impress, chance to show the Arsenal home fans what he can do. Nobody's really talking about Ivan Tony anymore, and that is the biggest compliment that you can pay to Kai Havertz. Nobody at Arsenal is really worrying about goals. They have goals galore in that team. Yes, they don't have a, an, an obvious goal scorer. Yes, they don't have that iconic striker that they have had over the years. You know, you go back, it doesn't matter whether it's Charlie George, all the way through, Arsenal have always had a top-tier striker. You know, they've always had a few, in fact. So you, you had Ian Wright, didn't you? Charlie George back then, Ian Wright. It was Ian Wright, and he was backed up by some really good players. You know, you had Kevin Campbell, who'd score a lot of goals. Then it went through. You had Thierry Henry, the Sylvain Wilt, or Dennis Berger. The iconic centre-forwards. Arsenal don't have that now, but they don't need it. Because of the brilliance of Mikel Arteta, they deploy this system where they have goals galore in the team from everywhere. You've got a centre-half with half a dozen. You know, you've got a centre-half with half a dozen. You've got full-backs who can definitely contribute. You've got midfielders all capable of scoring at least half a dozen. You've got forwards all capable of scoring between a dozen and 15. There's goals in that team. They don't need an Ivan Tony, And the fact that the Ivan Tony suggestions have gone so quiet tells you everything about Kai Havertz. It's amazing, I think, uh, how, how quiet it's gone. But I rate Tony. I rate him really highly. That shot, by the way. Aaron Ramsdale did well, but didn't he have a mayor Ramsdale? That's Aaron Ramsdale's last game for Arsenal, isn't it? Over and out, Romeo done. Um, but yeah, I think I think that Ivan Tony. I don't even think Arsenal fans will, will be so desperate for his signature anymore. Huge day for Arsenal. Massive day for Havertz. The day that could shape the title race. This is the weekend where the title race will be shaped. And Arsenal currently sit top of the league. That tells you everything, doesn't it? The weekend where it most matters... Arsenal, on a Saturday night, are top of the league. How this is going to go, I really don't know, but it is fascinating. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. Please click subscribe. I would love to welcome you into this community. We are on the road to 300,000 subs. Please, please, please click subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below in a bit.